Today we're going to recreate Canvas templates entirely with AI in less than 30 minutes. If you do not know me, my name is Sirio, welcome to my channel. I'm a creative entrepreneur and the founder of Enhancer AI, an AI app that allows you to produce production ready photos and videos. It's currently making $120,000 per month thanks to you. But why am I telling you this? Because Enhancer was entirely vibe coded. I'm not an engineer, I'm not a coder, I'm just a guy with ideas and today we're going to do something very cool to Together, something that could make you the next millionaire. No joke. We'll be recreating the Figma or Canva templates entirely with AI. Take a look at these pages. What they have in common is the format, the, the, the templated carousels, the newsworthy layouts, the Twitter style feeds. But how do they make them? Well, usually uh, I'm going to argue it's either a Canva or a Figma template like this one over here. But something that I personally hate about working in Canva or Figma is dealing with, with layers, moving things that you don't mean to move, struggling to replace images, etc. So, so why not build this entirely with AI so I can solve this issue for myself? Here's what I build before recording this this video and what you'll be able to build by the end of this video. This right here is the original template by Metaverse, an AI news slash tech page on Instagram. Shout outs to RPN. This is what I vibe coded with AI. Take a look at it. Almost identical. You can try it for free using the link in the description. You can upload an image. You can change the text and the font size. You can upload a logo. You can download the final image ready to post on social media and it literally takes 10 seconds you can even make this as a paid service if you wanted so let's get into the nitty-gritty and let's create our first ai generated template the very first step in building this template editor will be going into chat gpt mr chad our best friend i'll drop in an image uh, of a template that i like so i'll be using this one and I'll type in this prompt. I want to build something like this image template. I want to vibe code it. I should be able to upload a picture. It should have a dark overlay above the picture. It should have a fixed text that I can change. It should have the ability to upload a logo at the bottom. Please give me a prompt to paste it into my vibe coding agent. Now, this is what you're going to write. The entire prompt is shown on the screen. Cool. So this is what it came up with. It's pretty long. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to bring this prompt to our AI agent so that it can start to build the app for us. In this case, I'm using Emergent, which is, in my experience, the most efficient agent for building web apps and games. It's, it's my little secret. Uh, you heard it here first. And, and when this thing blows up, remember to thank me. But one reason that I love this, though, is the pro mode. It uses multiple agents in the back end. I'll show you more capabilities at the end of the video, but for now, let's just get the ball rolling. I'm gonna paste in my prompt. I'm gonna choose the fast and flexible mode since we're just building a very simple MVP. I'm gonna hit enter and then the agent will wake up and it's gonna do its thing. So this is what it's doing right now. It's asking me a few smart questions that I didn't even think about when I wrote the prompt. It's asking me if the user should be able to download the image. It's asking me whether the user should be able to select from pre-built templates. It's asking me if we should allow for font customization. My answer is gonna be yes to download, so HD 1080p, yes to pre-built templates, and yes to font size, color, family, spacing, and weight. So literally, this is what I'm writing back. So take a look at my prompt. I'm gonna hit enter and the agent's gonna do its thing, but it's also gonna go through troubleshooting. Last time this whole process of just starting the agent up and telling the agent what it needs to know and all the troubleshooting that the agent is doing on its own took me about five minutes within two to three minutes of, of the, the back and forth. As you can see right here, it encountered some issues that it resolved automatically on its own. I, I had never written a single line of code in my life, so I would not know how to fix any of them, right? But if I'm stuck, what I'll do is I literally just describe the errors to the agent, which is gonna help me out. But in this case, since we're using Emergent, it's just fixing all the issues on its own. We don't have to do anything. Boom, look at this. This is the preview. The application is working. Watch, the, the agent is testing the functionalities itself by interacting with, the, with with all the elements to make sure that everything is functional. So it's not just like, like a, a Claude wrapper or a code writer in this case, it's just basically acting as an engineer, as a proper agent. Here's what we got. Okay, so here's the upload section. We're gonna upload an image. And then in here we have our text interface, we have our headline, we have our size, font style, we have the weight, we have the color selection. We have the subtitle controls. Here we have the download button. So let's test this thing. It looks very good. I'm gonna add a background image of Mark Zuckerberg. Personal super intelligence. 
I like how that sounds. However, I'd like to know more about super alignment. What's happening? Are we working on alignment before we go to super intelligence? I'm just a random guy. I don't know much, but I hope that we are. So here's the image of Zuck. Now we're going to upload a logo. Upload, boom. So let's change the font family. Yo, look at this. This, this looks great. So easy. What I could do also, if I want to productize this, I could, I could even turn this into a mobile app just by simply prompting. I'm going to go and ask the agent to create a mobile app for the project. That's it, natural language. Create a mobile app for this project. Forget all those JSON prompts, whatever. In the last few weeks, I'm just mind blown by the fact that people are using JSON prompts to generate images and videos. It, it's fake news, it doesn't work like that, my friend. But this is a story for another day. So now it's asking us to choose the, the app type, the, the platform, the UI style. So for me, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say that I want, um, I want it to code in a native iOS language with a simplified interface. It's giving me all the code, it's giving me all the instructions on how to install this into Xcode and like start editing the code. Super simple. When I hear the crazy part, I built this app for myself to scale my content create, like literally. But, but the crazy part here is that you can hook this up to APIs, you can scrape news online, and you can auto-generate hundreds and hundreds of variations without even having to manually design anything ever again or, or having to go and start typing the app. What you could do is that you can pull the data into an Airtable or a Google Sheets, and then you can link your Airtable or your Google Sheet into the input fields, and boom, you have automated your news content creation. So this is ready for deployment. You, well, what you can do is you can go over here, you can click deploy, done. Emergent is a complete product building ecosystem and you can even build games and mobile apps. And here are some cool examples. You can build Google VO ads generators. Take a look at this one. Literally, all you have to do is write one prompt that can be optimized with an LLM of your choice. I use chat GPT, preview, and boom, here you have it. This is what I call the perfect meal. Habit tracking apps. A virtual piano. Interactive games. Chrome extensions. Since we're talking about AI news, you can also build cool news apps. Like guys, this to me is absolutely nuts. We have all our tools at our disposal and all we need to do is think. We can just start building solutions for ourselves. This is how Enhancer AI came about. I just wanted to fix AI skin texture for my images then after I productize it. I've also built a bunch of other tools like a lead magnet generator, an app that tracks my expenses, a bunch of landing pages. I have linked all the examples I talked about in this video and a sign up link in the description. But here's one piece of advice from someone that has done this. While agents can do everything for you, I personally like to build the entire front end myself with the help of agents, then hire a QA or, or senior dev to, to check and optimize for scalability and, and actual impact. If I'm building some sort of a SaaS product, everything front end is gonna be done by me and an agent, and the dev will handle Stripe integration, storage, databases, authentication, like all that good stuff, which would take me forever to learn and understand. Now, you can find affordable engineers on Fiverr, Upwork, or you can check the link in the description if you want me to help you build an affordable and experienced team. Thank you for being here, friend. I hope that you learned something new today. And if you did, hit that like and subscribe button and turn on the notifications. But something that I really want you to remember before you go about your day is that the real magic of AI is not what it can do for you, but how it empowers you to do what you've always wanted, to create without limits. This is serious.